Mr. Cicilline for a minute and a half. I thank the gentleman from Washington and want to offer my strong support for this amendment. Uh, this amendment obviously formally recognize our commitment to the guarantee and traditional structure of Medicare. Seniors in our country and those in my state that I have the privilege of representing deserve to know we're committed to protecting Medicare. I've seen firsthand in Rhode Island how important Medicare is to the seniors that I represent, those who are living their retirement years and rely on Medicare to live with dignity and with the comfort of knowing that they have access to affordable, quality health care. We absolutely cannot end Medicare as we know it and convert it into a voucher program. This would not only decimate the traditional program, it would also place seniors who enroll in the voucher program at the mercy of private insurance companies in their retirement years. Programs like Medicare are more than just dollars and cents. This is more than just a government program. Medicare reflects our values as a country. We decided that when you reach a certain age, you should be guaranteed access to quality, affordable health care. And it's our responsibility to maintain that promise that we made to the people who helped build this country. And I just noticed today that a statement was issued by the uh, Executive Vice President of AARP, and it reads, Chairman Paul Ryan's proposed budget fails to address the high cost of health care and instead shifts costs onto seniors and future retirees, removing the Medicare guarantee of affordable health coverage seniors have contributed to through a lifetime of hard work is not the answer. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and I yield back.